all new music artists want success with their music. But for some reason, they're afraid of success with their music. It's a kind of like a catch-22. Success is the ultimate villain. But from the outside looking in, I can see you're having troubles monetizing your music. However, on the inside, be honest, you have a fear of getting out of your comfort zone to make this money because you know success is not comfortable. Ultimately, you're fighting this paradoxical situation of trying to balance your artistry with a need to make a living. This also puts you in a position of the fear of making money. We're gonna break that open on today's episode of the Music Money Makeover Show. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. My name is Casey Graham. And let me tell you, in the beginning, I struggled with this. I realized that if I wanted to move higher, I was going to have to be okay with being uncomfortable. I knew I was going to lose people. And the thing is, I didn't want to be at the bottom. So in order to fight with this, I had to kind of develop my own tricks and tactics to get through it. And I'm going to give you some of those right now. So here's our number one reason for struggling to monetize on your music. And it's just the fear of rejection right here. Overcoming the fear of criticism is essential for growth as an artist, by learning to differentiate between constructive feedback and unfounded negativity, musicians can use criticism as a tool for improvement. Pause for a second. Some of the harshest criticism some of you all may know as music artists come from the comments on TikTok. See, it used to be like, oh, Instagram, Facebook, all those comments was rough. It is not until you move into the TikTok stream of things that the comments become really, really harsh, okay? And it can be harsh when, as an artist, you see these comments and it's like, man, it really messes up your day. It's a blow to your self-esteem and the motivation that you had running after you had a great day. TikTok is like trying to make it in New York. And that's just what it is. If you can make it on TikTok <laughs> as an artist, you can make it out there. Well, of course, there are other challenges you're going to have to face. Face the rejection. Understand that there are people out there who are going to give you criticism that just doesn't amount to anything. But then there are real people who will give you solid, constructive criticism that you should take to heart and you should change some things about the processes and what you're doing. Because developing a growth mindset and building resilience will help you embrace challenges and handle setbacks on your journey to success. Get comfortable with the no's. The no's are just a build up to the yeses. In fact, Someone who doesn't have a lot of no's is someone who doesn't need to be telling you what to do. The more no's you get is the more credit you have built up to a stronger yes. If you got 100 no's and you get one yes, it's like, all right, you, you at the bottom. But then if you got 100 no's and you got like 20 yeses, oh, come on, man. Like we knocking it down. But that's just the build up. You have to build up what you're doing. The quality of what you're doing. Face the rejection. It's okay. It's okay. But you got to get over that. And then we got to get over money, currency, and energy. Understanding the value of your craft allows you as an artist to seek fair compensation for your work. Energy is to be respected and not played with. Money is energy. It's currency. It just flows back and forth. Okay? So you can't play with the money on telling people to give it to you or to dish it out or learning how to receive it and, and play with it. I mean, work with it, not play with it. In whole, by adopting a healthy mindset towards money and how currency flows, artists can view financial stability as a positive aspect of their careers rather than a threat to creativity. Once you understand that financial stability is key, channeling creative energy into business strategies will enable you to reach a wider audience through innovative marketing and promotion tactics. Read that again if you kind of need to let it sink in. Money is energy. Money is currency. It flows. If you obstruct the flow of it, it won't flow for you. It won't go and you can't go, which is why if you're worried about rejection and this gets you down, you're obstructing your money flow. Don't let people say things about you that obstruct this. Next, the light. Embracing the spotlight helps musicians overcome their fear of public exposure and use increased intention, excuse me, attention to elevate their careers. You must embrace that light. It's going to come with it. Stand in it. Own it. It's yours. You, you generated it. Stand in it. Stepping into the light is inevitable for messengers. You are a messenger of what you have to say. So by accepting responsibility for your success and acknowledging your achievements as an artist, you can take ownership of your career trajectory. 
Now, it will break down the walls of fear. Trust me, it will. There are always going to be some things that you're scared of, but it will. Once you get confident with your light, you will start to break down that fear. As long as you can acknowledge your successes, you will become more comfortable with the light and you will not be afraid of it. Point blank, period. Read it again and let it set in. All right. Success. Here we go. Setting specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound goals provides musicians with a clear path to success. You all know my goal video. I'll flash it here so you can go back and watch it. I know the thumbnail doesn't look like a goal video, but it is. It's very valuable. All right. Most artists are afraid of success when they get when they set a goal because they begin to see that their dream is achievable. Stop right there. Once you set the goal and you wrote it down, you know that it's now and you do it based on my formula. You know that now it is achievable because you wrote it in the way to make it achievable. Embracing change and adapting to the evolving music industry along the path of your goals will ensure that you can keep being successful helping yourself to remain relevant and competitive. Now, I know our artists don't like to compete, but the consumer is viewing it as a competition, whereas you may not be viewing it that way. So you have to make yourself stand out amongst the crowd. So this is why you want to set the goal, because many don't really set goals. They kind of let other people do things for them. Once you have the achievable dream and sight in the crosshairs, you take the shot. And that allows you, by taking the shot, it allows you to embrace the change. And then the success can come and then the money can, and then the, then the money can flow and then the light increases. And now we're winning. Now, you might say, what if I lose my creative freedom by focusing on money? Well, money is going to be part of the picture anyway. And sometimes you're going to have to focus on it. All right. Naturally, you won't lose the creative freedom. However, if you do, did you really want creative freedom or did you really want the money? Remember, it's a balance. We got to balance this thing. You will have to focus on money in order to balance the creative side so that you can keep moving forward. You got the gas for the thrusters, for the engine, for the rocket boosters to keep going forward. So you can't just not focus on money. But if you take your eyes off of the artistic integrity of things and you strictly focus on money, well then yeah, for sure you're going to lose the creative freedom because you're going to sign to a record label and let them do everything for you. And that's usually, you know, people go in kicking and screaming and they're like, I didn't know, I just wanted the money because I got to do this and that. Don't do that. Can I maintain my artistic integrity while chasing success? Well, yes, you can because you're not chasing success. You're creating it. And if you have to chase it, you're losing track of what you're doing in the first place. Our goal is to not chase the success. It is to create great art and have the art displayed to the world in such a way that it creates the success for the art, which is the product of what we created. It's like success is in front of the product and the product is pushing the success. You see what I'm saying? It's like it's just pushing it. I'm going to get it in the window. It's pushing the success. And that and that gives us more. And it's like, imagine snow is building up. And it's like all that snow is now success for us. So if you just listen to what I said and, and, and adapt it. You'll see what I'm saying. Now, will the pressure of success affect my ability to create? You're not going to succumb to that pressure because... The thing is, you're creating the success by the art that you make. Creating a successful environment and business for the art to survive is the goal. And as long as you understand that the environment has to be great, the business has to be great, the product has to be great to survive, then your mind isn't focused on success. It's focused on creation of the product, right? And the operations of it to get it out to the people. That way you stay focused. You stay grounded. Once you look at success, it's like, oh, I have to top that. No, you don't. You don't. The people think that you have to top it and that's what you're trying to do. But if we go back underneath success, what we're really trying to do is to create a successful environment and business for the art to survive, to create the art in, and to give the best possible expression that we can through the music. So in order to do that, you're going to need a foundation. You're going to need that foundation for your business to survive along with the art that I was just saying. I built something called the 60-Day Record Label Course. It's a framework to establish your record label within a perfect 60-day sequence. You'll learn how to set up your LLC and bank account flawlessly to protect the art that it is you're creating, all right, and the money that comes in from it. And then we'll set up your records and publishing division to collect domestic and international publishing royalties without the middleman taking 15%. You don't need a publisher until you need one. And in the beginning, you don't need one. And that 15% that you're going to give away is going to be expensive. 
I'll show you how to keep it to yourself. Utilize the contract templates to get you in the game the right way. But look at all the stuff that we're talking about here. BMI, ASCAP, Sound Exchange, the MLC, Music Reports, Harry Fox Agency, Illuminate, All Music, ISRC.com, a few music distributors, and much more. Why take 12 months to do something that you could do in two months? Because many of you all who set up your record labels and get through all of these accounts take about a year to 18 months to do it, if any at all. And I don't want you sitting around talking about what you could have done this year, next year. You see what I'm saying? Not the shoulda, woulda, coulda conversation. We don't want that. All right? 275, five easy payments of 55 bucks. That's all. But once you're done or before you start, book a call with me and we'll develop a strategy just for you so you can win. Grab the free stuff below if this is your first time watching the channel. Now, hitting the mark is a winning position because you can increase your revenue from music sales. You can achieve greater creative control over your projects and the products that you put out. This allows you to expand your network of industry professionals and enhance your personal brand and get the recognition for it. Ultimately, you can balance your artistic and business mindset, which allows you to sustain the career growth that you are supposed to have in this game. Okay, now this is where you are right now. And this is what failure looks like for you. All right. Stagnation and career growth because of the fear. All right. The inability to adapt to the changing music landscape because of the fear. You see what I'm saying? Continue struggle with fear of success simply because you're afraid of what that success may do to the art. Now, at the beginning of this video, you might have been struggling to monetize your music. And it really was a balance between money and success and not compromising your artistic creativity. I understand that. But ultimately, the whole goal was to get you to transform from an artist that was shy and timid and scared about this success to one who's more confident and ready to take on their music career. That's truly capable of balancing your passion for music and making a living within this music industry. Music money makers, if you make music, you should always make money. Jump into the 60 day record label, download the 60 day record label book below, grab the free stuff below, book a call on musicmoneymakeover.com and I'll see you next time. Peace.